Good afternoon, this is Mark Harrison with Sewer Line Check Professionals. I am here at 6339 West 80th Street in Westchester, and I am uh, preparing to perform a video examination of the main sewer line for Stephanie Beacon. Now the main sewer line is the portion of the waste drainage piping that is exterior to the structure. It lies underground and connects the building drain line system to the public sewer. The building drain line system then is the portion or portions of the waste drainage piping that is underneath or interior to the structure. Our examination today is not focused on the building drain line system, so if further evaluation is desired regarding the building drain line system, a licensed plumbing contractor should be contacted, or a specialty building drain line video examination can be set up through our office. So I was unable to locate or find any exposed or accessible main sewer line clean-out. A main sewer line clean-out is an area outside the structure that has a removable cap allowing direct access into the drain system or main sewer line as the pipe exits the building. In this case, I've done a little preliminary investigation, tracked and located where that should be or is, and I've marked out in the front plancher area with some green marking paint where that uh, clean-out is located so that it can be exposed and extended to the surface. What I've had to do is I've had to bring my equipment onto the roof, and I'm going to be dropping now through this 3-inch main building drain waste vent. It's going to drop us into the drain system. It's going to run us straight out the front of the building here. And near the base of that forward palm tree is where our clean-out's going to be in that plancher area. I'll go ahead and drop in here. Now, I've got a little water running in the line so that we can... Uh, an idea how the system is draining and also help us keep the camera clean. Now, what we're pushing through here is the original cast iron building drain pipe. This is the drain line under the building, and again, this is not the focus of our inspection today, but what I'm seeing here is some pretty heavily deteriorated cast iron piping. Now, I don't know that you're going to be able to see much of this under the structure because I think a lot of it is below grade, so there is a little bit of an advantage to what we're doing today by dropping down through this location and then right here we're exiting the front of the structure and right there you see the opening at the top of the pipe that's the clean out I've marked out for exposure and then as soon as we start getting into the main sewer pipe and the drain system here we're starting to see root intrusions now root intrusions at the joint areas of these older clay pipes is fairly common Normally, we're suggesting that they can be maintained with regular sewer line cleanings. It's when they're left unmaintained for extended periods that they create blockages in a system or potentially damage a pipe. And we're starting to see some cracking here. around some of these joints and now we're hitting an area where it looks like we've got an obstruction or a blockage. The line's not really draining very well. I really can't see anything. It's full of water and debris. keep punching through these areas if we can, but unfortunately not able to see much. So I'll be recommending that that main sewer line cleanout be exposed, extended to the surface, a good thorough cleaning performed on this line, and then a follow-up examination. There's just a lot of the system that through the middle of the front yard that we can't really see much. Line cleans up pretty good. And we're just seeing some common roots at these joints. And now back into a section that's not draining. Looks like there's some debris build up here just before our public connection here. Drop down into the city sewer about 64, 65 feet from where we came out of the building. So at this point, unfortunately, we've just got some sections that we can't see too well. It's a 
significant root intrusions, mostly at the upper end of the system as it exits the building, probably the first 30 feet or so, that uh, really going to need to get snaked out or cleaned out somehow uh, so that we can better determine the condition of those areas. Really nothing else we can do as far as getting a better view when there's that much debris build up and the roots themselves can hide damage at those joints. So that's the recommendation. Uh, install the clean out or expose and extend the clean out that's been marked out with green marking paint in the front planter area and uh, have the line thoroughly cleaned to uh, restore normal drainage and to uh, give us better visibility for a follow-up examination. All right, so with that, I'm going to go ahead and wrap up the video portion of today's examination. Please do refer to my written report, uh, which will describe final findings and recommendations for today's evaluation. And then uh, once the line has been cleared and uh, looked at a second time, we can provide final repair recommendations. This is Mark Harrison with Sewer Line Check Professionals. Thank you very much, and have a pleasant day.